Howdy, howdy, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time stopping by. I'm so happy that you joined me for this week's What's For Dinner video. I've got a couple of recipes that I wanna share with you guys that I found that we really liked around here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you like this kind of videos, I share these on a weekly basis along with grocery hauls and my meal plan. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Well, we're gonna get on into this, guys. I hope you'll stick around. This first meal here I have shared in the past, but I know I have a lot of new friends here, so I felt it was worthy to share it again. So to my Instant Pot, I'm going to add in two chicken breasts that I have sliced in half. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a good little dash of salt and pepper for seasoning. All right, you guys, this sauce is what makes this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a half a cup of honey, one third of a cup of soy sauce. This is the low sodium soy sauce. One third of a cup of chopped onion. A fourth of a cup of ketchup. One tablespoon of oil. and four cloves of chopped garlic or minced garlic. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a good whisk to get all of these flavorful ingredients combined. I could drink this stuff, you guys, it is so good. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this sauce to the top of my chicken. Alrighty, now it's time to go ahead and close this bad boy up. I'm gonna seal it off and we are gonna cook this chicken, mine is frozen by the way, for 20 minutes. Otherwise you would do 10 minutes. All right, I did go ahead and let this naturally release for about 10 minutes because like I said, my chicken was frozen, but if you are using the fresh chicken, you can definitely just do a manual release at this point. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my chicken from my Instant Pot because I'm going to thicken this sauce up. All right, y'all, to thicken the sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and use three teaspoons of cornstarch and one fourth of a cup of water. All right, and I bet y'all can't guess who just about knocked my camera over just now. <laughs> Once the cornstarch and the water is added in, I just let this cook on my saute option for about five minutes. Meanwhile, I went ahead and chopped my chicken up pretty good, and I'm gonna add that back in. We're gonna let this delicious sauce just get coated all over this chicken. Alrighty, and dinner is done, you guys. This is my absolute favorite Instant Pot recipe. I serve this with some rice and also some roasted mixed vegetables. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my large skillet here with some nonstick spray, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in one pound of lean ground beef and about a half a cup of chopped onion. And I always mention this, but the recipe does not call for seasoning the meat, but you know, I gotta throw a little something something in there. So I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Alrighty, and over here to the side on my skillet, I've got a pack of bacon cooking, and we will use that here in just a moment. 
somehow or another I forgot to hit record when I added the ingredients to the ground beef here. So those ingredients would be two teaspoons of Montreal steak seasoning, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and a half a cup of a sour cream. Next, it's time to go ahead and add everything to my 9x13, but, but first I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice spritz with some nonstick spray. The first layer is half a bag of tater tots, guys. All right, and next I'm gonna go ahead and add in the meat mixture. Here's where part of the bacon comes in. I put four slices of crumbled bacon on and one cup of cheese. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my tater tots and the remaining cup of cheese. Alrighty, this goes in a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. Once the timer goes off, you're gonna get that bad boy out of there and we're gonna put some more crumbled up bacon on top and we're gonna throw it back in the oven for about five more minutes. Y'all, potatoes are definitely my weakness this pregnancy, so needless to say, this recipe was my favorite this week. Alrighty, I served this with some delicious garlic breadsticks and everybody's belly was happy. Alrighty, first things first, I went ahead and added two tablespoons of oil here to my large skillet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in two chicken breasts that I sliced in half. I'm gonna cook them over medium heat for about three to five minutes. Also, I did go ahead and throw on a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the chicken now and add in about two and a half cups of chicken broth. Well, actually I used better than bouillon, but you can use chicken broth, whatever you got on hand. Once the chicken reaches the temperature of 165 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the pan to my cutting board waiting there to the side. And once the chicken is out of there, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one and a half cups of heavy cream and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give this little stir to combine it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in 10 broken lasagna noodles. And at this point, you would cover and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow the noodles to soften, but guess to who doesn't have a lid for this skillet? Me. I've really, really gotta upgrade <laughs> my cookware.
Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken up over here and then once it's all cut up, I'm gonna add it back to the skillet. And last but not least, what Italian dish will be complete without cheese? So I'm adding in one cup of mozzarella. And the recipe did not call for this, but I did throw in some Parmesan as well. I couldn't resist. We don't need to wait in no long lines at Olive Garden. This recipe was so good, you guys. Y'all have got to try it out. I served this with some roasted broccoli and a garlic breadstick. And guess who got a salad this night? Me. That never happens because I'm the only one who likes salad around here. Alrighty, my friends, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're not hungry by now, then I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a great big old thumbs up down below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And until next time, keep them fed. <laughs>